Hello, you guys. Hello. Welcome to my live, you guys. Welcome to my primal and mobility class. Yay. It worked. I scheduled my video and it worked. I'm so pumped. Hello, you guys. How are we doing? Check in with me, you guys. Let me know if you're here from the Sweat and Clench Challenge. Or let me know if you're here from Naga Camp or if you're just dropping by and coming by to get a stretch routine with me. Hello, how are you doing? Um, I'm going to give us about a, um, 30 seconds or so, you guys, just to let a couple people hop in with us. Um, but I hope you're doing well, like I just said. If you want to stretch out your neck right now, you can drop one ear to one shoulder. I'm going to give us about 30 seconds or so, okay? And then we'll get started. Let's see what the chat is saying. How are we doing, you guys? <clears throat> Hi, Jackie. Hi, Christina. Hi, Savannah. Awesome, you guys. I'm so happy you guys are here with me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, you guys. If this is your first time working out with me, you guys, thank you so much for coming. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started, you guys. <clears throat> so if you're wearing an Apple Watch, the fitness workout could be the yoga one. Just, just a little tip. Well, we're gonna go ahead and reach down towards the middle, you guys, to start. So we're just gonna get a middle stretch, okay? So reach down towards the middle of your legs, Make sure your legs are open. Shoulder width apart or a little bit more, okay? Good job, just breathe it out. We're gonna reach down the middle for about 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna come up and squeeze in five, four, three, two, one. So we can come up slowly and squeeze your glutes at the top and go ahead and repeat that stretch. So let's come down slowly, come to the top slowly. Good job. So make sure you're reaching down but keeping your chest up. <clears throat> Primal mobility and recovery class, you guys, is all about opening up your body, recovering it, stretching it. If you feel any soreness, any kinks in your body, I want you to be um, paying attention to that because all of us are different. We're all built different, so if you feel something that you need to hold a little bit longer, go ahead and do that. Five more seconds here, maybe get two or three more. Four, three, two, one. Great job, you guys. All right, we're gonna go ahead and bring it, oops, sorry. Sorry about the mic. We're gonna go ahead and bring it down to the ground, you guys. So let's go onto our hands and knees on all fours. Let's go ahead and breathe in. We're gonna arch our spine and reach up our tailbone. Look up with your eyes. Breathe in. And I want you to exhale and then around that back. Point that tailbone down. <clears throat> and we're gonna repeat. So go ahead and inhale. Roll your shoulders back. Arch that back. Reach that tailbone to the sky. Look up with your eyes. And then exhale down. So we're going to be here for about 20 seconds, you guys. I'll tell you when to switch. But like I said, today is all about listening to your body, feeling what it needs. If you need to hold a certain way, do that. I'm going to walk you through it. We're going to go through some mobility tests today as well. I'm excited. Make sure to exhale. Good job, you guys. Get your last one in. Finish up that last one. Great job, you guys. Hi, Abby. Hi, Raven. Hi, Tanya. How are you guys doing? Happy week three, you guys, if you're in my sweat cleanse challenge. Okay, so let's sit down on our boots, you guys, on your booty. If you want to get some water, go ahead and grab that. We're going to come into a butterfly position. So, again, we're going to hold this position for a little bit. 
we can hold just pressing down the middle or you can lean over to one side. We're gonna spend 30 seconds here, okay? So go ahead and try to get comfortable for me. Feeling that stretch, if you need to go to, to the right side, go ahead and go to the right side because then that will give you a nice spine stretch. You can even lift up that arm if you want to reach it over to really extend that stretch to feel it a little bit deeper. <clears throat> if you are holding on one side, I'll tell you when we're halfway so you can switch. Maybe get it a little bit deeper. Three, two, one. 
a great job. Slowly walk it up. Good job. You can close those legs in <clears throat> to a seated position now with your legs in front of you. And right here, we're going to go ahead and put our hands up and we're going to reach one arm back, opening up that chest. Try to keep those arms aligned with each other as you open and then come back up. And then we'll alternate other sides. Open up that chest, <clears throat> lean back, and that will work your core a little bit. And then come up to the top. If you need to modify, you can stay up and just open up that chest. So this is level one. Just opening up that chest, working that shoulder mobility. Really try to line up those arms. Level two would be leaning back. Align those arms and come up. Good job. I will tell you when we're done. This is for time. Use that breath. <clears throat> Inhale down. Exhale up.
good job, you guys. Let's hold on child's pose. And if you want to amplify the stretch, kick it up a notch, you can go ahead and turn your palms over. So turn your palms over to the ceiling and sit back. You can walk them out to your right side and continue to sit back. I'll tell you when we're halfway. So if you are on one side right now, I'll tell you when we're halfway so you can switch, okay? As always, don't forget to breathe, you guys. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe as you exhale, you can go deeper into that stretch. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fall deeper into the stretch. We're halfway there, guys, so if you want to walk it over to your other side, go ahead and do that now. Walk it over. Get your other side. Make sure you get even. And continue that breathing.
good job. Go ahead and come up. We're gonna switch sides. So I want you to swing this back leg up as you switch sides, okay? So don't overthink it, and then come back down on that other side. So you might feel one side tighter than the other. That's normal. Maybe give that side a little bit more attention. <clears throat> Here we go. We're gonna pick up the back leg. We're gonna swing it forward, okay? So swing this leg forward and switch. Great job. Come down. And remember, you guys, if you can't swing your leg forward today, don't get discouraged. Just go ahead and stick to the figure four. Mobility takes time, just like muscle takes time. So if you're ready, kick up that back leg, swing it forward, wrap it around, get your other side. We're gonna go ahead and do a couple of these. So as you feel more comfortable, you guys, you can go ahead and speed it up, but don't get crazy. I don't want you to be swinging and break dancing at home. But once you feel comfortable and secure, go ahead and speed it up or maybe add some twist to it. Good job. We're about halfway through this figure four walkthrough. Great job. Swing that back leg, then cross it over. I think level two would be doing it without any hands down. So see if you guys can do that. See if you can do it without any hands touching the ground. Can you swing that back leg up and then back? Good job. Great job if you did it. We can come, a, come out of this exercise if you want. Find a comfortable position. I'm gonna tell you what we're doing next. We're gonna come into the figure four stretch again, but this time we're gonna work our hip flexor. So we're gonna pick up our back leg. Our hands can be down. We're gonna pick up our back leg and we're gonna kick back one, two, Three, so you want to keep it very close, hovering to the ground. If you can't kick back today, that's fine. Maybe try lifting up. But what you do want to do is engage your glute. So as we're lifting, that's engaging our glute, and you should feel it right away. And then we're going to kick back. One, two. Okay, ready? Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. One, you can lean forward on those fingertips, pick up that knee and kick back. One, great job. Two, this is really gonna strengthen your hip flexors, you guys. All those little muscles that are so important. Keep that knee close to the ground. Try to keep in mind we're engaging that glute. Good job, a couple more. Good job, two more, one. Last one, great job. Go ahead and relax, good job. Let's go ahead and switch it over so you can kick to get over there. We're gonna do this side now, your other side. So let's go ahead and switch sides, you guys. Squeeze your core, we can lean forward. Let's pick up our back knee. Remember to engage your glute. Here we go, lifting up that back knee in three, two, one. So pick it up. It's okay to lean forward. As soon as you feel like you have that glute engaged, start those kicks. So if you feel like your leg's just flopping, try not to do that. Pick up everything. Engage that glute. Kick back. Great job. Keep it close. Working those little muscles that are so important, you guys for our longevity, to keep us healthy, to keep us mobile. Good job, a couple more. Two more. One. And done. Great job, finish up that last rep. Maybe give yourself a hug with those knees in. We're gonna go ahead and lie it back actually as well. So we can lie it back, give yourself a hug with those knees. You can give your back a little bit of a massage by rolling 
back and up, or side to side. Great job. Okay, so I got another mobility challenge for you guys. We're gonna see if you can stand up from rolling, okay? So from this position, see if you can get enough mobility to get up onto your feet. So we can come up, maybe you can get here. Let's see if you can do that. We're gonna be here for a little bit, so you have some time to play around with this. So come up, 
pick up those glutes, reach, and you guys can hold that stretch. Remember, listen to your body, see if you need to feel it out more. You can walk out that hand more. Back in, and switch. Good job, this is one of my favorite ones, even though my shoulders are so sore right now, so it kinda hurts. Good job, you guys. stretch by coming into a full bridge. So if you want to do that full bridge, go ahead and do that. We're more than halfway through with this stretch. If you guys have never done the full bridge, oh my god, it feels so good. It's a full body stretch. Final moments, you guys. during our abs. We're going to make a circle with our legs. So we're going to lie down. We're making a circle and we're going to reach through that circle. So here we go. 30 seconds in three, two, one. Let's go ahead and make a circle. Come back, reach through. Good job, you guys. Make sure you are breathing through, okay? I want you to inhale, exhale, Great job. You know I had to throw a couple more abs in here. You got it guys, 10 more seconds. Five.